Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So I'm going to build another model. So what I'm going to be building is a high elf. Let's have a look at this. High elf arch mage. I'm going to be going for the guy on the left. I'm not going to do the horse on yet. I'm in no hurry to do that. So I was looking through it, and there is a fair few kind of parts, a lot more than I thought, that you can add on to your guy on this. So you have like three options for his right arm. So as you can see you get two swords or you get the kind of staff or the wand or whatever it is. Then the other arm you either get to put an arm with a book and a, or a sword or a little dagger. Or you can go for the kind of staff or the wand or whatever if you're going for the sword on the other one. And then you get your choice of four heads as well. So I'm... Um, oh yeah and then you get to choose your bases. I didn't notice when I bought it that you get to choose different bases like you get the rock one. Kind of like a like smoky stuff coming up and then you just get like normal feet if you want to just put them on a the normal base so so um, let's have a look at the bits that I was going through so first off I just clipped off the body because that's you only get one choice of body so that's what I'm going to be using and the base so um, let's have a look at this one Um, yeah let's see is there much on this actually I'm using well there's the dagger you can use pretty much standard Um, there's one of your staffs there's one of the swords. I like that one actually, that one's pretty cool to put on the top of it. Um, there's the kind of the smoky, kind of wizardy base you can put on it. And the stone one, the stone ones that are dressed, the other stuff on it is kind of for, like for the hot guy on the horse. But here's the main one, so here's the heads, let's have a look at the heads first. Let's zoom in. Whoa, what's the camera, what's the camera man? Let's see. Uh, the head that's on it is that one, I think. It kind of, I think it's a woman's head. Let's have a look at it from this way. I think that's it. Anyway. Yeah, it is that one. And it's painted up. I don't know whether really, it's just because of the way it's painted, but it kind of looks like a woman's head. I'm not really too pushed on that one. Like, it's okay. And the next one is with the helmet. This one here, the third one, I do like with the hair blown back. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of looks like if you're standing on the rocks, it looks like the power or like the wind is blowing up underneath and everything looks pretty decent. Then you get this one. This is the head that's on the horse in the picture. Well, not on the horse, but on the guy on the horse. Um, and then you have this one, which I don't like. It's a bit too much. What's on the back of it? It's like a star. I won't be going with that one. And then there's just a dagger, or maybe it's the top of a the stick. It goes in. Uh, the cloak, that's for the guy on the horse. So here's the weapons. That first one is for the guy on the horse. It's like the whole whole amount to it. So this one here, you get the staff. Wait. I think you get to choose the top for that one. I'm not sure. I can't really see from here. And then this one here, the second one, which is the flame and sword. I think that's pretty awesome. I don't want to put it on the mage because actually I don't know what I'm thinking about it now. I think it'll look better on the guy with the horse like running in with like a flame and sword. I think it'll look pretty cool. Although let's look at what he has on it now. It's on in the picture. He's going in with the axe like that. So maybe you don't get the option to give him the flame and sword. Let's have a look at it. Oh you do. There it is there, with the guy on the horse. I think I might stick the flame sword for the guy with the horse. Um, and then you have your rocks that I'm pretty positive I'm going to be using the rocks are daily. Then you get another top of for the stick. Then there's just the body of the horse then. So that's about it, just two little small sprues. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clip my favourite bits out. Uh, blue tack them together, see what kind of looks the best. And uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so here's the first part of a build up. Um, I just hope this won't fall apart because the glue is like, barely holding it together. Um, I went with the flame and sword for this iron but I couldn't get the glue to hold it in just right. So I don't think it's going to work really so I think I'll just leave the flame and sword for the guy in the horse maybe. But the only other option you have is like a sword or the staff so I'm going to keep this staff for definite. Um, it's the better of the choice I think. Um, I think the head looks pretty good. 
to where it is and happy with the head it'll most likely stick with that and then he has another staff on this hand and it's kind of like a well to me it looks like a fire kind of thing on the end of it and he's standing up on the rocks obviously um, so I think if, you're going, if I'm going to go with this one it's kind of looking like he's going full power wizard compared to the other option I was looking at which I'll show in a second but he kind of has like the two staffs in his hand one looks like a shooting out or trying to shoot out a fire ball or something like that and then the other one for something else and with the hair blown back looks like he's going full power kind of super saiyan looking like and standing up on the rocks it looks pretty cool you know from the back like that it looks awesome so so I'm going to take this arm off and I'm going to put on the other option that I had and then um, I see what that one looks like is then look oh, I'll, sorry <laughs> I'll have a look and see what that one looks like then and then I'll probably make a choice then okay so here's the second choice with the only difference is I changed the, the other staff for a book and this is the one that I wanted from the very start with the book in the hand if we push up it um, and then once I seen the other two ones or the staffs in it, I think I was going to push more towards that but now then looking at it when it's all built up the book actually looks kind of cool looks like he's getting his power from the book um, yeah, so maybe I could like do something like chop the top off this and put the the kind of fire yolk on the top of it like that it might look a bit cooler it's a pity the book couldn't go in the other hand because all the kind of the nice choices are kind of on his left hand and then unfortunately the book that's the only hand the book can go on so um, I'm not sure I'm gonna I think I might just upload this and then let me know what you guys think of which choice to go for either go for the book or the two staffs Um. I won't make a decision until I get a couple of comments about it to see what you guys think. I'm not too sure yet. So make sure you leave a comment below and let me know which one you guys think is the better choice or which one looks cooler. And um, stay tuned in and get this bad boy painted up. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.